Well, today the CR250 is coming back apart. It should be a familiar look for you guys because it's spent more time apart than it has together, but there's a reason it's coming apart this time and it's going to be quickly reassembled this time. This bike is going to get a new seat cover, new plastics, and new graphics, and I'm excited to see how this bike looks with all the work we've done to it and all the final touches coming together in this video. Well, with that being said, let's get into it. Now that all the parts for this bike have came in and they're in the garage, it's about time that we throw them on the bike and get this thing done. Cue the montage.
we got the seat cover on the CR250, which turned out pretty sweet in my opinion. I do wish that the red was a little darker, but it is what it is. It still looks pretty good. But we have the new seat cover on, along with fresh graphics on the bike, which I think look pretty sick. And this is pretty weird to say this after three years of this bike just sitting torn apart. Or actually, it's more like five years um, of the process of messing with this thing. Um, the CR250 is finally wrapped up. We are done with it. Essentially, there might be one more part we're working on making, but when that happens, we'll definitely update you. But yeah, it is weird to say that the CR250 is finally done. So now that this bike is completely done, um, Hunter and I were talking and we decided we're going to return this bike to the stage where it likes to be in. So now that it's done, it looks good. Hunter and I decided we're going to tear everything off and leave it back down to the frame motor. I'm just kidding. but. That wraps up today's video. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed seeing the transformation on this CR250. I know Hunter and I are both ecstatic about how this bike came together and how it looks, even though it took forever. But we appreciate you guys watching and hope you guys enjoyed.